Hi, this is Roger Newcomb on the red carpet of the 37th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards for We Love Soaps TV. And I'm Damon L. Jacobs. Stay tuned because we're going to bring you all the interviews, chats, and more. Right. Stay tuned. So, Sean Kanan from Young and the Restless, Bone the Beautiful, General Hospital. Am I forgetting any? Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach. How could I forget Sunset Beach? How are you doing tonight? We're here at the Emmys in Vegas. What is this like for you? I think it's really exciting to have the uh, have the event here in Vegas. I mean, I think it infuses it with a new energy. Um, for me, it's really exciting to be a part of uh, the cast of Young and the Restless, nominated for Best Show. Um, also, the nominations for Bold and the Beautiful. I'm a little torn. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot of fun. Two sister shows. Yeah. Have you been losing any money? Have you been gambling? Um, I've been doing a little bit of gaming. Yeah. We've been doing a little gaming. We, uh, right. we, had a, we, had a, we had a pretty spectacular run at the craps tables last uh -huh. night. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, you mentioned Young and the Restless. Is there anything you can tell us or anything you can preview for us about anything coming up for you in the future? Um, we well, yeah, actually started uh, taping Young and the Restless last Thursday. I did two shows. So wow. I'm, I'm back. All right. Deacon is back. The bad boy is back. Anything you can tell us about what he what trouble he will be stirring up in Genoa City this I'm time? Gonna be, I'm going to be working with the Stafford. Working with Michelle, so um, I think it's you know I wanted to work with Michelle for so long. Uh, when I was working on Bold and the Beautiful, always see her across the hall because you know we shoot right across the hall, and uh, now I'm finally working with her, and it's terrific. She's a great actress. Great. Well, you I have, hope she wins tonight. You have definitely mastered the art of. of of tortured bad boys on soaps. Why is that? The male version of the hooker with a heart of gold, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Why is that? Why do you think you're so good at this? Oh, I don't know. Probably because a lot of that's in my real life. No, I don't know. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Acting. Well, whatever it is, we really enjoy your work and we look right, forward to really seeing you more. Thank, Thank you. you so we are here with Elizabeth. How are you tonight? I'm How are great. You? I'm so great. I'm so excited. I'm just so happy tonight. When I, I heard my dress. I love my shoes. You I look so hair. beautiful. I love everyone. <laughs> Vegas. I was gonna I say. I thought you were nominated all over the place. I'm just, I'm doing great. When I heard that the awards were gonna be in Vegas, I thought, oh, she's gonna like this. This is gonna yeah. be fun. Yeah. What, what do you like most? I've been taking a pole dancing class for the past eight weeks. You have? Yeah. Actually, ten weeks. So. Have you been showing anybody but, your, what you've been learning? No, because I gotta be really careful because I do want to keep my job. <laughs> The last thing I need is my executive producer seeing me like twirling around and he's like <laughs> Or I get fired and I get a second job. This might be my second calling. We don't know. Well and speaking of second jobs, we were just kind of wondering when we're gonna get to see uh, imaginary bitches again. I you know, when you talk to Eden you gotta ask her. We we I know that her husband's very busy and doing great and writing some other really great scripts. So I know that when he has the chance and the time and when it's all I know that if he goes any further, he's not gonna do it unless it's right. right. So, and he wants to do it as big and, you know, and, and as great as possible. So I like that he's been kind of holding out for the right time. So it will happen. I just, we just don't know when. Great. Yeah. Can you, anything you can preview for us this summer about what's going on with Chloe and what she's getting oh, to, yeah. uh, well, there, I know um, there's a lot of so drama. So there's a new, there's a new undercover cop in town played by Jeff Branson. Yeah. And and he comes and kind of shakes things up, and um, Eden's character is going after my fiance, and um, yeah, it just it it definitely uh, stirs up a little bit of trouble. People start getting jealous. People start getting vindictive. People start getting uh, feisty. Uh, we have a little cat fight. Uh, so. Yeah. You and Eden? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And not exactly. with our tongues this time. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Roger behind the camera. I am here with the beautiful Emmy winning actress Eden Regal. We're so happy to see you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so happy that you're back on our screens as Heather on Young and the Restless. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm like having a really, really great time. Oh my gosh, it's loud. It's you. It's you. It's her. <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. I, lo I love the show. I love the rest of the cast. They've been so welcoming. It was very, very difficult for me to make the decision and painful for me to say goodbye to Bianca and to all my children, which I love so much. But um, but it's it, they've, they've, they have an amazing recast. The new Bianca started airing and she's fantastic. Uh, I couldn't be more thrilled that she's in such capable hands. Um, and I having a brand new experience with a character who's tough and sassy and bitchy and you know all kinds of fun things so I'm having a great time. It's so interesting too because you really grew up in front of us and all my children and now yeah. you're in a completely different setting. What have you learned most about yourself by going from one show to the other? Oh, um, well that I love challenges. That I really, really love challenges. I like, I don't, I, I, I 
I like being out of my comfort zone. Even though it's scary, ultimately it's much more rewarding. Awesome. That's a great thing to know about yourself. Yeah. Now speaking of challenges and new projects, when are we going to see more of Imaginary Bitches? Oh my god. I wish I could tell you there's stuff that's brewing and it could very well come back. But I can't say anything yet because it's not for certain. But we're still really trying and, it, and that show is so important to me. So hopefully, hopefully we'll have a big, big announcement sometime this year. I hope so because I'm telling you, we're in Vegas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you guys better start. start. We're starting our method acting. Yeah, we're getting yeah, into yeah. character. Get to the gym. But you know. And get to acting class because you guys are going to be needed and we're going to need you again. He yeah, is working next, out. Next Roger is working out a lot. This fight. <laughs> and I'm glad you said that because, you know, we're in Vegas. It's kind of wild here. And, and I need to. Catherine and Heather are out of control. You need to get those two under. They are, will not put clothes on. Well, and I don't, I keep and I don't either. So It's that, Vegas and everybody dresses. Is slutty, but that doesn't mean you can go around naked with your with your bits hanging out. You can't do that. Kate Linder and John Driscoll of Young and the Restless here. How are you two doing tonight? This is great. It's fabulous to be here. Yes. I mean, this is so terrific that the Emmys are uh, airing in uh, Vegas. Yes. How about it's wonderful you? wonderful that they're doing it in a different city besides yeah. New York and LA. Uh, I love doing it in Vegas. I just wish I had won some more money. I am. Did you lose worried. any? I've lost a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I am like in the pennies. I know. I can't even believe that I've been in debt yet, which is really weird for me. You're a lot smarter than most of us. We go there, we lose, have a couple of drinks, and we lose everything. Wow. Now, last year, some of the scenes that people are nominated for had to do with Coop's death on Guiding yes. Light, sadly enough. And then you made the trip to Young Why and not? the Restless. That's right. What's the biggest difference between those two shows for you? Your, what's your um, you know what? Uh, I felt like... Um, Guiding Light, uh, they, they, it was pace. I mean, they moved really, really quick. When I got to YNR, they were able to slow it down a little bit, at least in my opinion, slow it down a little bit. Uh, the cameras were back to the original cameras, so you got great shots. Um, and they had time. And you could create a good story, create a good scene, as opposed to just kind of rushing right through it. Uh, fabulous actors on Guiding Light, which is why it sold, and which is why they did so well with it. But uh, I love where I am now. I've had a great time. It's good catching up with the Guiding Light casters here. Awesome. Yeah. You see a lot of your friends, and you kind of paved the road for other a couple of other people that have made the That's trick right. from Guiding Light That's to right. uh, Young and Jeff Branson, we've got uh, yeah. Marcy Ryland. Yeah, you're a trailblazer. I am, what can I say? <laughs> I share the wealth. And you know what? He's not like in my storyline, so that's really good. Oh, I'm in his storyline. Even better. Oh, even better well, you know, Chloe. I'm engaged to daughter. daughter. That's right. It's amazing. That's right, but I think there's going to be some problems along the way. I mix that. This is the mother we're talking to. Earmuffs. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I like him. <laughs> that's great. Thank you for sitting up Thank you. You both look so great. Hey, no, darling. You look so gorgeous.